1949 officially declared the Republic of Ireland. After years of suppression and depression brought to us by invading forces, offering us uh, nothing but oppression, thrust into famine and depression and starvation and deprivation, we won the right for liberation. Ah, thanks to many people, not least Daniel O'Connell, the great liberator. We've been invaded before by the Vikings, the Normans, the British, and well now, the Euro. But we always come through in, uh, in times of adversity because it's a place of Celtic spiritual wonder. And as it roars, it answers Ireland's call with thunder. And it's said wherever you are in the world, you're never too far away from one of us. In fact, it's been said that Barack Obama is part Irish. If that's the case, then uh, yes, we can. There's something about our Irish souls, our, our blood, that will always keep us connected to our homeland and the songs of Athen Rye and, and the marching band. Now, I'll never ever consider myself anything other than less than 100% Irish, but, you know, I do respect all nations and nationalities and creations, diversities and faces and different races, but I do pinch myself sometimes and I think, well, I know I'm not stylish, but I'm Irish. Get him. Get him. I'm part of ERA. The Emerald Isle, the island of saints and scholars, the Cladder, the Blarney Stone, the Leinster, Ulster, Conic Munster, St. Patrick, uh, the mythical unicorn and the hairy ginger leprechaun who's got the pot of gold. I remember Packy Bonner with a nation holding her breath in utter anticipation as he saved that penalty and upstepped David O'Leary. Silence the weight of the world on his shoulders and he slots it in sending the keeper the wrong way jumped on in celebration by elated teammates stevie staunton jackie's green and white army they went a bit balmy italian 90. every house from every community was covered in the green white and gold in support of our lads half days off school soccer fever i remember playing football in the front garden as my mum rushed out and she said go I ran away, I thought she said ghost. But obviously I came back and so did the lads. And well done lads. Ooh, ah, Paul McGrath, I said, ooh, ah, Paul McGrath. We didn't win the World Cup, but we really did shake them up. But there was a time when we couldn't stop winning. That bloody Eurovision. We might never win it again, of course. We need something different like my lovely horse. We even give the world so much, like Guinness, U2, The Van, The Commitments, Terry Wogan, Roddy Doyle, Dillisk, The Saw Doctors, The Dubliners, Foster and Ellen even, Gay Burn, RTE, The Late Late Show, Roy of the Rovers, Tato Crisp, but we like to keep them to ourselves, uh, Waterford Crystal, it's the utopia of fishing, once upon a time we had a Miss World, we've got Hurling and Gaelic Games, Air Lingus, Ryanair, Bosco, Zig and Zag, Balagus Angel, Craggy Island, Mrs Brown's Boys, River Dance, and Jedward, plus many many more, every great person has been Irish, they just, they just didn't know it. Ireland not only consists of rural landscapes and uh, natural beauty and uh, very, very warm welcome indeed, but it's also vibrant and consists of different genres and uh, cultures, diversities, music, art, uh, freedom of expression, freedom of choice, uh, a many different voice, tourism. And yes, indeed, times are financially substantially hard, but we're Irish and we've been through tougher times and we'll get through this together. Now I'd like to come back home one day and reside with a nice, cool, fresh pint of, yeah, you guessed it, Guinness. But I guess, as the old saying goes, good things come to those who wait. <laughs>